man, what was that like? Five miles in 12 minutes? That's a new record, Malcolm. Good job. Appreciate that. Man, what time is it? It's about 10.30. I don't have enough time to get to the office. Hopefully, I don't mind if I just come casually dressed. Uh, they shouldn't mind too much. No pit stains. All right, we're good to go. Uh, where's that championship? Championship. Uh, Alicia, championship. Oh, nice. How's it going? Good morning, isn't it? As a 321-day YWO heavyweight champion of the world. Uh, what's that noise? Oh, it's Dexter again. Oh, no. Every time I answer this, something bad happens with that kid. What's his name? What's that kid's name? Dr Drake? Maverick? Or was it Drew? Maybe it was I mean, Alejandro or something. Uh, I'll, I'll answer it. Dexter, what's up, man? So nice. Alright, so as most of you know, I'm Drew Adams. I have won the YWO Open Challenge. Uh, and I just wanted to give you a little background as of who I am, where I'm coming from. Um, I, you know, I've had a hard upbringing in wrestling. You know, it has always been a dream of mine. I've always thought to myself, you know, how can I make it? And, you know, when I win the YWO Open Challenge, I mean, I, I know I made it for sure. But I did just want to give you guys some background information on me. Um, so, you know, as most of you know, you know, I'm... I'm good friends with Jack Swagger, Chris Masters, uh, multiple Hall of Famers, Ron Simmons, The Godfather. Um, and, like, so most of the people, when I've ran into them, they're like, you know, Shane, like, even my guidance counselor. So my guidance counselor pulled me into her office. She's like, Shane, what do you want to do after high school? And I sat down, I looked at her, and I'm like, I want to be a professional wrestler. And, you know, she just gave me this look like, <laughs> it's never going to happen. So, you know, I... I I feel like that's been some of my motivation. You know, Chris has played a tremendous into how far I'm making it. You know, he's given me the confidence into what I want to be, and I'm slowly seeing the outcomes pay off. And, you know, JT Funk, you know, he's going to be my manager, just so you guys know. Uh, you know, he's the same way. Everybody backstage who I've met, you know, every, some of the greatest people who I've ever met on this planet is through wrestling. And I truly mean that, you know, everybody backstage is family to me. But, you know, when it comes down to business, business is business. Championships are championships in which I like to own as much as I possibly can. And, you know, so, so when I noticed that I started to like wrestling, you know, I was actually about 12. And I was just like watching it and my aunt she's like you know like it's okay so we just started watching it and then every friday night it was friday night smackdown i loved it i loved it you know i i got my grand back into it she used to watch it way back when so i'm like Graham, you know we have to watch friday night smackdown you know that's when ryback was doing the squash matches and stuff they were amazing to me and i'm like one day that's gonna be me like it's going to be me i'm going to make it happen so you know i I honestly put my mind to it. I'm like, what can I do? So I started figure shows, you know, AFE figure shows, and that's actually what got me training as early as I am, believe it or not. So I did just want to say, like, whatever you can possible to do to get into professional wrestling, do it. Like, it could be an action figure show. It could be taking pictures of figures. Anything involved in wrestling that you put out on social media is going to get you involved, and it will get you noticed. I promise you that. So, you know... I feel like I've worked very hard for all my opportunities I have gotten. You know, like Jack Swagger hasn't just walked up to me and said, hey, you know, you look like a decent kid, so I'm just going to train with you, you know. You, you, you have to work for what you want. So that is what I've been doing. You know, I've trained with multiple indie guys, and I've got some amazing experience from the indie guys, you know. Um, the indie guys honestly have so much in them, you know. You you don't understand, like, yeah, you know, I've I've talked to Jack, you know, I talk to Chris on a daily basis. But I mean like the indie guys are truly the guys who are doing it like night in, night out, you know, Jack was doing it, but now he's trained for Bellator and stuff. You know, so he's giving me an, some amazing advice that's making me as successful as I am. You know, and I did just wanna you know, just let you guys know that, you know, Malcolm is up for a huge 
challenge. Like he thinks I'm the underdog and I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not, you know, I've been training for this in and out. I've been training in the gym. I've been training in the ring. I've been training anywhere you possibly can think of. So Malcolm, you are in for challenge. It's not going to be walking in the park. I'm sorry. You said, I'm going to strike out. I don't think so. I think you're going to strike out, man. You know, you, and you made it a two out of three pinfalls match. I mean, <laughs> whoa, that's two times in a row I'm going to pin you. I mean, that's fine with me, but you know, I, I don't think you understand that, but that's okay. You know, just you do you and I'll do me. That's perfect. <laughs> so, you know, I am going to walk out as a YWO champion. As most of you know, honestly, I do have more experience than Malcolm in the ring. I, I do got to say, you know, it might not be a lot. Actually, it is a lot. You know, I've been in the ring with the WWE champion, Jack Swagger, Chris Masters. Those are people who have been in the WWE who have made it. So I did just want to end out by saying, uh, Malcolm, I, I do apologize, but if you do want, we can do this the easy way and you could just hand me the YWO championship, save yourself a couple of breaths. That's fine with me. You know, you just let me know. Um, for all of you guys who put in those video submissions, they were good. You know, don't get me wrong. But nothing to what I have put up. <laughs> I mean, I think it's great that you guys put in those video submissions. Like, I applaud you for that. Just like Malcolm said, good for you. You came out of your show. That's great. But on the side note, I did say in the promo I did win. So you guys should have just started messaging me and saying congratulations. You guys can congr congratulate me in the comments below. So, uh, Malcolm, I did just want to say you are in for one hell of a fight, July 29th. And that is all. And the YWO Championship will be around my waist. See you. Yeah, I saw the video. Of course, I didn't like it. Why do you keep adding him in the videos? Mm, just go give me a coffee and then fire yourself. Everything I used to dream being real right now, now, now. If it wasn't working, I'm going to work it out. Know they got brilliance, but not everybody been searching. Everybody rap about money and hoes, but they